you know, give him to break his shell a little bit on those things because he has some influence, man. You have great influence. So let's make that influence positive. And I think he's he's helped out Amos and some of those guys from Georgia that he's always with all the time. But just, man, make sure, like, not only in our running back room, man, for that offense. Go yeah. talk to the O-line. Go get those guys together. So I think he's, he's going to go and take that and run with it as well this year. Yeah. I mean, there's some improvement. How has he handled just the mental aspect of having the, the surgical procedure that he had? You know, not being able to. He's been good. Uh, I mean, you know, he, he, we just had we just had a meeting um, right before I came here. He's attentive in meetings. I mean, you know, man, we talk all the time. He's been doing everything he needs to do. So he's been good. He's been fun. What are those other NFL comparisons, if you don't mind sharing? Marshawn and Zaquandre? Um, and I, I, I had I had Marshawn with a I, I had I had Swift and um, what's my guy from the, from the Raiders? Um, Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs. Um, I had Z White with. Um, Kareem Hunt. I had Rashad Amos with um, with uh, Saquon Barkley, who he looked, who he looks just to like his running style and body body, body format. Um, who else did I have? I had so uh, I, I got I had Juju with um, old tape of Deion Lewis, not a new tape, but Deion Lewis old tape. Him and Darren Sproles. I know it's kind of break down that for guys. How much do they appreciate stuff like that? They like it. I mean, well, well, it's, it it's, it's good. It's good on both ways because because they get to see guys run and see how it is in the NFL, but also they get to see our scheme and those guys doing the exact same thing that we're doing in college. So just let them see that the game is not too much different, man. But it's just being more consistent and just doing it at that level. But they get to see the same players they're doing. These same running backs doing those same things. So the things that we teach you now, they go on to the next level. So it's also big to see that. On Zaquandre. He comes off as a guy who has a lot of confidence and a lot of swag, but internally, how big do you think this past spring was for him to, to get on the field and have as have big of a role as he did? I, I think it was big for him. I think that's the part that he was missing. You know, you can say you got a lot of confidence and all those things, but I, I think that you get confidence from 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 getting put in situations, especially in football, getting put in situations, all right, this is my first time in the game, it's third and two, they're gonna throw me a swing pass, and I, I make the catch, make a guy miss, get up field, get the first down. Uh, I got confidence I can do that again, you know? So for him, he got a few carries in the game. He never been that, just, just the guy in the game. He never just had a team have to lean and depend on him. So him getting to get in that situation in spring, he was able to thrive in it. You know, he showed that he could be a leader, showed he, he can be accountable to the coaches. He showed that he could be an explosive playmaker for us, and that, he can take care of the ball. You know, that, that's one of the big things we had a meeting about. Like, I had a PowerPoint on the day, so Z White had the first PowerPoint today. I had one about taking care of the ball and just five points of pressure and just how that's going to be important to us and how that's how it's passionate to me and how we got to make sure that's a passionate thing for our whole team because, you know, the NFL study showed that turnover margin the biggest thing for wins and losses. So that's one thing that we can do. We can protect the ball with five points of pressure all the time. You know, so um, I, I think it was big for Z, and you can see his confidence. From there, going to spring, and hopefully we're going to see that thing going to the going to fall camp and then going to our season because I think he'd be a great player for us, man. He's explosive, so we got to make sure I got to make sure that I'm getting him to do all the things they need to do, all the details of the game. Coach Beamer talked about going into the fourth quarter, so to speak, of kind of this preseason. So for you, what are those key focuses heading into game day, which is under a month away? Uh, well, we're, we're now we're kind of on the on the football part, so it's all football specific for for us now. So right now, learning the scheme. Um, showing that we can be accountable, you know, doing training camp, you have more than just, you're not always just, you're up at 640 as well to get here every day. You got practice every day, but in between that, we got mandatory weigh-ins, we got hydration tests, we got meetings that you need to be on time for five minutes early on time. So making sure that my guys can handle those things and then just seeing, you know, how, how, we, how we act in game live situations this time. It's about prepping for the game, man. I know it seems like we come to camp, it's like, man, camp is a grind. It's, a, it's really not a long camp. We only had two weeks of camp before school year starts. So it's not a lot of it's not a lot of time to kind of get them what we need to get on. So those are the biggest things for me, emphasizing and as a group, like we have to compete as a group, and we still we still competing because we don't know who we don't know who's gonna shake where. So in my group, we know is we're evaluating everything, and I think you know sometimes you're that and that's coach talk, like we're evaluating everything, but. We're literally evaluating everything. There's spots on this team and my group in particular where we don't know who's going to be the guy at that spot. So those, if, those are some of the big things that we're, that we're looking forward to getting done. If you could describe your coaching experience at Carolina in just one word so far, what would it be? Exhilarated. It's been, it's, it's been fun for me. It's been, it's been a dream for me. And uh, just being back here, I'm from North Carolina, but being back in the Carolinas, being back in the SEC coaching, it's been a dream of mine, man. It's been, it's, it's, it's been a great feeling.